So welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. Actually, I'm up north in my dad's backyard, so he's got a hunting blind back in there. And one of the things that I want to do for him is sort of give him an aerial view of his hunting area back here. So I'm going to take the spark up and do some video with it. So uh, I've checked hover. I'm good to go. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to launch it. I'm in a little bit of a tight area here. So I need to be a little bit careful of some of the trees and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the video. And I'm going to take it up. And I need to get it clear of all the trees. And so I'm going to go up about 120 feet. And then what I'm going to do is pitch the gimbal down a little bit and kind of take it out this way. I want to take it up a little bit more. I think this clearing is in the general area. Whoa! I'm getting magnetic field interference. I'm back to GPS. Weak GPS signal. I'm up to 17. Now that was interesting. That was a bit of a problem. Now what I did is it wanted to dive. So what I did is I just upsticked it to try to recover it from these trees. So I'm not sure why I received magnetic interference. So actually I think that's his blind right down there. So I do have a bit of a wind. I'm only out about 500 feet or so. So I shouldn't be having much of a signal problem. Now there are a lot of trees obviously here. Um, so I'm up about 150 feet. And I'm just trying to look for any openings and that kind of stuff. And we're just panning it back around this way. So I'm going to try taking it out a little bit further. And uh, notice with the trees and stuff, I should have really probably put some of the signal boosters on it. Uh, because uh, this tree density is really having an effect. So I'm getting large wind velocity. I'm now flying back, I think, around towards myself. And what I want to do is capture some video of this opening for him. And we're just kind of taking it down this way. We're, we'll kind of get this opening. And definitely I've got the OTG and I'm seeing a bit of video lag on this. And uh, yeah, definitely a bit of video lag. I haven't experienced this. I, it's got to be, uh, I, I definitely not having any Wi-Fi interference up here. Um, so definitely some lag and responsiveness. So let's, uh, let's go out and I want to gimbal down right over top of it. And... This is the first time I've seen, uh, seen that issue with the spark. Uh, um, losing the compass, getting a compass error in flight and dropping out of GPS like that. In a, in a flight earlier I had that bit of a problem. Now I'm about 300 miles from where I normally fly. It didn't, uh, I checked whether I needed to do a compass calibration beforehand. It didn't seem to indicate that. Um, so I felt that was good, but it, the magnetic interference piece is something that's starting to perplex me a little bit with the DJI products, because I received that in the uh, the Phantom 3 also. So, uh, and, and actually been having problems with the Phantom 3. So again, we're starting to see large wind velocities um, out here. So that's some road or something off in the distance, way off in the distance. Just kind of pan it around. You can see some of the hills off in the distance and everything. So I want to bring it back down and do a little bit more scouting. I figured I got enough altitude where I shouldn't have too much 
problems with the tree clearance and um, basically what I'm doing is just kind of showing them how the opening lays out uh, and everything and just kind of following some stuff through and we're just kind of taking it now I'm now interestingly I just got some kind of warning I'm up almost 150 feet there can't be anything in front of the spark let me get down more so to where it's at uh, I want to go down this way a little bit more see again I'm getting something I'm getting a bit of jumpy video I'm not out that far about 400 feet again a lot of trees uh, this must be a really tall tree I can't because uh, I'm starting to get a warning and I know the tree can't be that tall I'm in Michigan not uh, Oregon or Seattle so again I'm starting to see this I'm now up 250 feet and again let's uh, see and we'll bring this back around so you get to see a little bit of northern Michigan woods here so this is what it looks like from 250 feet in the air now I notice it just dropped out, dropped into Addy mode again uh, from GPS mode. I think that was Addy. I'll have to go back and watch the video. I'm going to have to go back and take a look at some of the videos on this before, uh, just to kind of see what happens, see if I can diagnose it, maybe take a look at some of the logs. Uh, again, it's not very windy out here, so I shouldn't have a problem. I'm not receiving a large wind warning either. So... Just kind of panning up, looking at the trees. Beautiful views out here. And just kind of panning up slowly. And you can just see the expansiveness of northern Michigan. It's just a bunch of nothing forever. Um, so that's uh, one of the roads leading out of town that's about five miles away. So just again, just kind of panning around battery's hanging in there pretty good but I think I'm going to issue a return to home here pretty soon I've done I think what I wanted to do oh I think that's O'Brien Lake out there in the distance if I'm not mistaken let's uh sorry about that a little bit chilly out here uh, I want to go up about 400 feet 350 or so so I believe that's O'Brien Lake off there in the distance So I can still hear it. I'm almost at 400 feet. Maximum flight altitude reached. So at 393 feet. So let's do a bit of a yaw. And uh, I have lost signal. I'm going to issue a return to home. I have nothing but a black screen. So I don't know if the app forced to restart or what. So go to fly. And let's see. So I hear it coming back. I'm at still at 400 feet. So I hear it. I'm going to have to kind of keep an eye out. As I mentioned, I've got some tight space here. And... Oh, there we are. Yeah, I'm going to have to be careful. I'm going to probably, as I get down, exit. Oh, we should be okay so far. All right, I think uh, so far so good. And so far so good. We're in this little opening. And we're coming on down. So again, woo, woo, good ah. So good flight of the spark.
And what I'm going to do is save off the video. Video saved. So we now have it touching down. We're on low battery. And we're coming down. I'm just going to hit the stick. Touch it down, lock it out, and we're on the ground. So again, I'm really a little bit confused as to the problem because um, I, I put it over. I'm looking at the compass screen here, and compass and everything. Yeah, I am you. All my stuff is reading normal, so I'm really um, kind of interested why it, it, it gave the magnetic interference here. If you guys are having magnetic interference errors with your spark, let me know in the comments below. I'd be interested to uh, hear. Um, this is the first time I've had the magnetic interference errors with the spark. I'm not overly surprised about the issue with the transmission through the trees. This is very densely forested or forest covered and I'm just using the stock antennas. I should have put on the parabolics. Uh, but anyways, um, another good flight and uh, with the spark in the north woods. And so, hey, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe button. And uh, hey, let me know what you had for lunch. Cheers, and we'll catch you in the next video.